Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Render Technician and welcome to Five Nights at Warriors 3. Now tonight, Five Nights at Warriors 2 is going to be the end, but I was very interested to see um, what Five Nights at Warriors 3 would be like. So uh, we're going to be playing this, um, and I'm already very <laughs> creeped out by the fight by the uh, Wario there with the Skull Mask. Everything seems to be recording. New game. This is where I uh, read the epilogue in a very British accent. And there's the very first location, which you guys, by the time we play this, has seen. At the time of playing this, the episodes haven't gone up yet. And then there were two, the second location of Five Nights of Warriors. By the time you're seeing this, we've beaten this game as well. And Peach is on the floor. That I wasn't expecting. I already like, think this game looks really good. I like how it's building up. Oh, who are you? Ah! Masks warrior. <laughs> I can use. I can use this. It says. I can use this, but what is this? <laughs> Hello. Swervis, we'll see you in five nights at McDonald's. Hello? Oh, thank God. You're in the house, right? Um. Yes. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Max. I'm one of the employees at your new job, but that's not Hello, important Max. right now. What is important is for you to get out of there. I know mm -hmm. someone hired you to watch over the house tonight because the family who is living there is on vacation, blah, blah, blah. Well, I don't know who told you that this house needed some sort of protection, but I'm pretty sure it was mm -hmm. a prankster. You need... To get out Great, of that's it. all I need. The house you're in is apparently extremely haunted, and according to some files I have here, nobody has been living there for years. I, mm -hmm. I'm not sure what kind of hauntings that exist in that house, but one thing is clear. I'm okay, sure they are trying to get to you by playing with your mind. You might even go crazy and see the exit door as a hallway, for example. Stay focused, alright? I... Okay could come over, but I'm afraid that can make things even worse. Now, you must not move from the spot you're on during the night, alright? It's extremely okay. dangerous in this situation. It's a good thing you put okay. up the cameras throughout the building. Use them well, but keep in mind that you can only use them for a limited amount of time at once. Watch okay. the power meter to make sure you don't need to charge it all the way back up. If someone should come in on the left-hand side, look to the opposite side of the room and wait. Don't look at your camera, just wait. You don't want to make eye contact, understand? Very. Though in this room they might sneak up behind you as well, I'm guessing you will then see them in the mirror above the fireplace. If this should yes. happen, immediately pull up your camera to make them go away. Got it? Okay. You should also watch them on the camera as often as you can, as it somehow makes them go a bit slower, I think. Mm -hmm. Once the sun rises, you are free to look for the exit, but remember, as I said, you might have trouble finding it. Heck, yeah. <laughs> they might even shut the doors and windows completely. If you don't <laughs> find a way out by tomorrow night, I'll, I'll give you another call. But okay. do not... And I repeat, do not stay in the same room two nights in a row, okay? That will make you easier to find. Okay. Good night. Good night. Okay. So the way I'm seeing it, I'm going to turn this up. So, 
Um, if anyone sneaks up behind me, I'll see them in that mirror, and I need to make sure that people don't come from my right. And they're borrowing from uh, One Night at Flumpty's. Hello? I'm going to see what happens when the power's up. Ah, uh, okay. So, we'll do a one night of flumpties then, we just do this. Oh, there he is, he's in Cam 5. Okay! Now he is. Don't look at him. He's in cam two. People are behind me. There's nothing behind me. There's a green screen behind me, which makes me feel a whole lot safer. And unless you see a pair of eyes behind me in recording, um, in which case there is something uh, behind me. And um, by the time you see this recording, uh, I will no longer be amongst the living. Nah, I'm just screwing with you. There's nothing behind me. So we're just going to scout the room then. Okay. So I'm very quiet, but this game is a lot more difficult than Five Nights at Warriors 2. I don't know who the phone guy is for this game, but he sounds quite good. He sounded a lot like the game Salmon. Um, I mean, I know he did a um, phone call for Five Nights at Tubby Land 2 and 3, and he did a couple for Five Nights at Sonic as well. The night there lasted five minutes, ten minutes. That's quite long, actually. Oh. 
I'll tell you what we will actually do with this game, is we'll, we'll break it into two parts, possibly. So one run we do the kitchen, one run we do- I don't know if there's any big difference. I'm in cam two, so I need to keep an eye on cam three. Hello? Cam four. Hello? Are, are you safe? Oh, good. You had me worried throughout the whole day. So, where are you located? The kitchen, huh? I see. That's a good choice there. As you have probably already <laughs> noticed, it's very dark tonight. It's cloudy, <laughs> the moon is small. Yeah, I'm not sure if you're able to see very much in there, but luckily... No. This is the kitchen we're talking about. You have an oven, or should we say a free light source, kinda. I doubt any of those electrical ovens work, but there's an old oven behind the desk there. If you put some fuel in, it should light up the room for a little while. However, be very careful. Ghosts can sense the light from very far away, and since you only have a limited supply of fuel, you should only use it when you know someone is standing in your room. Got it? This is where you must use your security cameras effectively. Follow okay. them. Track them. This way you'll know if they're in the room with you or not. The scary thing is, if you light up your room while someone is in there with you, they will for sure go away. That's a fact. However, if no one is there, they will most likely come rushing towards you and you must just hope for the best. <laughs> so only use your fuel when you absolutely need to. Keep at it. Stay safe. And stay calm. Good night. Okay. I am so scared. Right, where are we? We're two. So five, three, seven, and one. Five. One, seven. Oh no! Man, this game is incredible. Oh, hi. Okay. Cam five. Cam one. No. Nobody. <laughs> Wario was there. I don't know where he came from. <laughs> oh, the kitchen is pretty bad. Do I get to re-choose? Yes, I do. I'm going to try the bathroom this time. I can see! <laughs> Pills. Um, hello? You're still there? Oh, okay, yes. okay, okay. I'm just glad that you're okay. Now, where are you? The bathroom. All right, good choice. Though I'm you said unsure the kitchen was a good you have a to protect yourself within there. Hmm. Wait, is there a medicine cabinet in there? If there is, take yes. a look inside. See if you can find some medicine of some sort. I've heard that the effect that is created as soon as you take some types of medicine will drive the spirits away. Don't ask how. Maybe the reaction the medicine creates makes them think that you're dead or something. Either way, I think this is your only hope. Stay quiet, okay. track them on the camera, and if they should find you, quickly swallow a pill or something. Then they should hopefully go away. Take the strongest medicine you can find. However, strong medicines often come with some side effects, like temporary loss of long-distance vision, loss of short-distance vision, paralysis, etc. But don't worry, these side effects will go away shortly. Keep moving during the day, okay? And I'll call you again tomorrow if you're still there.
Let's have a That was Yoshi. Yoshi is coming to kill me. I'm going to kill you with what you're into Hey. You're going to be here soon, aren't you? Okay, I can't see the cameras now. Okay, so long-sighted kills my cameras. Short-sighted kills my room vision. Okay, there's, there's nothing I can do. Yoshi's gone back. Get back, Yoshi! Back from whence you came! Oh, you're coming back. You've gone back, okay. Keep an eye on him. Keep an eye on him. Okay, he's gonna be in camp six. He's alternating between the two from the looks of it. I can't see anybody else. Maybe a specific character approaches you every single place, so maybe. I mean. I took my pill. Shit, I was so, I was so, I was too slow. <sighs> right, I'm gonna leave that episode there. Um, we will pack, pick this back up. Fantastic game, really, really difficult, but in all the good ways. Anyways, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.